What is going on to you, Sagittarius? So you have the Five of Pentacles, ooh, Five of Wands, Two of Wands, Page of Swords, Hierophant, Queen of Wands, Three of Wands, Four of Swords, The Magician, The Seven of Swords. Wow. Okay. So some of you Sagittarius are not having it. The Five of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, so close to each other. A lot of you Sagittarius are not <laughs> if if you Sagittarius are dating anybody, y'all are not taking the nonsense that people may have tried to give you in the past. Y'all don't care. Soon as people start acting tweaky, twitchy, like they like they start acting like they don't have any kind of common sense and they start moving funny, a lot of you Sagittarius are like, okay, I'm gonna hang out with you one more time. You're not saying that to them, but I'm saying that that's the mentality that a lot of you have. Y'all are about to get right up on out of there for, with them because a lot of you Sagittarius are starting to realize that, again, people can be dysfunctional. So they're not. So a lot of the times you really see sometimes the morph, the metamorphosis of when people go from being like accepted and how things change where now their personality done done flipped and now all of a sudden they start acting differently now and it's like and it's like wait a minute like yeah they're supposed to be different but they're supposed to be better they're supposed to become better that's the whole point of why dating someone is supposed to start off rel relatively boring or normal right it's supposed to start off uh unassuming in the sense that you wouldn't know too much about this person and then over time it gets better and better and better right it starts to scale upward not down not fall downward so when a lot of you Sagittarius starting to see like oh, okay the person is starting to change for the worst now a lot of you Sagittarius are like nah you gotta bounce but the two of wands represents people are not gonna people are not going to like it the fact that you bounce people are not really gonna like that because a lot of you Sagittarius, you saw the writing on the wall. You see it. And a lot of you Sagittarius are not going for that. So the Page of Swords and the Hierophant now represents. So the Page of Swords is that you, because, yeah, because you Sagittarius have to have some sort of boundaries. You just can't let somebody, you know what I mean, do whatever it is that they want. You Sagittarius needed to have or you need to set boundaries, you know, and you're not wrong. For not allowing just any old anybody to just show up and say that they like you or, you know, appear like they like you, put in a little bit of effort and then get the draws from you, you know, make things super easy on them. Right. You know, you have to actually, you know, they have to really be official. They have to be real. They have to actually be about what it is that they say that they are about. Right. And the Hierophant is Taurus and Sagittarius. So. This is you, Sagittarius. So this is about how you showed up for your own reading. The Hierophant, right? The Hierophant is about how a lot of you Sagittarius and a lot of you are even like learning how to, like I said, learning how to follow your gut, learning how, what it looks like. Because sometimes people will give you a tell when they're about to do something bogus. Sometimes sometimes they 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 uh they don't but most of the times people give you a tell when they're about to do something really dysfunctional like if they're a quiet person now all of a sudden they talking to you a lot or vice versa they talk they they're talkative they're extroverted but then all of a sudden they stop talking to you and you're like and you're like what's up with you what's up and then like y'all hanging out and, and they're not saying anything. Just like that, all of a sudden, they're about to do something really bogus or they're up to something already. Because people don't change. People are not supposed to change Sagittarius for the worse, especially if y'all are in relationships with them. They're supposed to change for the better. They're supposed to grow to be better so if they're extroverted one of the ways that they can grow to be better is maybe their communication skills what they say gets better so that 
when they're communicating using their words or even writing, it, it becomes more understandable to more people. You understand what I'm saying? They're not supposed to be on some stuff where soon as, you know what I mean? Soon as y'all start hanging out a little bit, now all of a sudden they start, they start flipping the script. They don't talk to you. They don't call you. And you're like, wait a minute. I thought the two of us was going good. So you Sagittarius have to watch out for that. The queen of, of, of uh, wands represents because people will, like I said, people will try to give you a tell and they'll try to blame it on you. Like, oh, and even come try to come back around you after they try to, after they didn't try to, they did betray you. So the three of wands now is about when this happens, pay attention to when that type of stuff happens. Pay attention to when they're about to show you the other side of them because they were buttering you up before with all of the fun stuff that a lot of you Sagittarius enjoyed about them. You hung out with them for. While the Three of Wands is about how you Sagittarius need to see the bigger picture. Be aware of your surroundings. And I don't just mean only physically. Open your mind. See what's really going on with people. Understand a person's per personality. Are they introverted? Are they extroverted? If they're introverted, right, how are they moving? Will, are they introverted, but will they hang out with you? If they're introverted and they're not hanging out with you, something's off. They're up to something. Something's off. Something's cooking. So the three of wands now represents. So as a result of this, once you Sagittarius are on that level, some of you probably are, you will be able to see that. And that's when it is that you'll be able to bounce. But the three of wands also represents you will also be able to walk away without having to feel bad in walking away. Because that's that's part of the reason, too, why it is that, you know, we go back to relationships. Talking about everyone, the zodiac sign, all of them. That's part of the reason why we go back to relationships is because we feel too much compassion sometimes where well, we feel bad for for you know uh the fact that we got out because and we start we start making excuses for our, for the other person and ourselves maybe the person really did have our best interest in mind and we was the one that was tripping out no when you leave you leave you understand what I'm saying? When you leave, before you leave, assess the situation. Make sure that if it's for real, that if there's something really there, and then when you leave, stick to that. Even if you may have missed out, that's one thing that I'm really learning myself. Even if you may have missed out, still leave anyway. Still stick to that. Because for a swords, that situation, more than likely, you're already right, Sagittarius, in leaving. But it's your compassion that will have you coming back, trying to talk and all this stuff and try to see if the two of y'all are compatible and all this other type of mess. When in actuality, you Sagittarius were right from the very beginning. The relationship is already over. It's just that you keep breathing fresh life into it. The Magician and the Seven of Swords now represents and whatever at this point, right, the responsibility now is yours because the magician isn't only a card based upon power. The magician is also a card based upon responsibility. What does Spider-Man say? With great power comes great responsibility. Well, it's true. Very much so true. You Sagittarius understand now what, what it looks like when someone is about to play you, play games, run game. And, they, and you understand now that a lot of people have tells. Some people show you different elements of who they are. And when they show it to you, it's so drastic, it's noticeable because they're not, they're not used, they're not very good at running games. They think that they are, but not really. And now you Sagittarius now know what to look out for. So now you Sagittarius will use that to your advantage to now have the upper hand over people who are trying to run roughshod over you and control you and all this other type of stuff. So now the Seven of Swords now represents, they're gonna have to try harder now to run game on you Sagittarius. And you Sagittarius are gonna be so ahead of them 
to the point where they won't even really see it coming. They'll think that they're that they're somehow fooling you with the games that they're playing, but not really. So a lot of you Sagittarius overall are sitting back and really just kind of reflecting on the relationships, the experiences that you had and what to do. And you're learning. You're coming over here on this channel and you're learning, right? That's part of the reason why I want so many subscribers and I want people to watch these videos all the way through so that, yes, I'm benefiting from it, but also you can benefit from my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So let's clarify the magician. The Fool, right? Seven of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Five of Wands, right? So... The Fool, the Seven of Cups is, is that now that you know what's going on, you have, you understand it better, it's going to be that much easier for you to walk away. That much easier for you to walk away. The Seven of Cups, and you'll be able to walk away without having to feel bad, without having to feel guilty of the fact that you walked away from a partner or a person that could have potentially been the one. They, were, they wasn't. That's just your own compassion playing tricks on itself and it's not even real compassion it's really ego playing tricks on itself so you have to learn to get over that before that becomes your undoing right you continue to make these decisions the six of pentacles and the, and the, and the um the, the five of wands now represents and at the same time people either have to reciprocate try make an effort to be with you or they need to get out of the way